Hello, it's Marco here from Marco on 3D. And in this video, we're going to continue on with the Bull Tools series. So this is part two. If you haven't already watched part one, go watch it and then come over. Um, we're just going to do some more of the paneling and we're going to start adding in some of those finer details. So if you haven't already, subscribe. Let's get into it and we'll go from there. Right now, what I kind of want to do is give these corners 45 degrees, but how much? Maybe what we might do is just put in a small piece in here, 45 degrees. So I'm going to just work on one corner and then what we'll do is mirror again across everything else. So let's go something like that, scale to the Z, G, Z, so something like so. From here, what I'm gonna do is select the top and the bottom, control B to do a bevel, yes. That is pretty much what I wanted. I would just want to bring this down a little bit. GZ, just so it's kind of in line with that. Actually, we might even bring it down a little bit lower. And now if we come to the center, let's come up to the top here to the 3D cursor. Shift D, rotate 180, select all with A, Shift D, rotate 90. From here, let's shift left click our master, control numpad minus. There we go, so now we've got this cut out. Let's just have a look how everything is looking. Bring it to the bottom. We can see all our bevels. Nice, that's looking good, beautiful. I will just press space bar now for search or F3 for search or if you're in a laptop, Fn F3. Let's just type in shade smooth. How about we select something first and then go shade smooth. From here, we'll come into object data, click on normals, auto smooth. There we go. Why aren't you curving, buddy? That could be not curving because, where is it? Is this the piece here? If I were to select this and go smooth, shade smooth, does that fix our problem? Sure does. We've got a little bit of yuckiness here, but we can manually fix that a little bit later. Now, the next thing I wanna do is kind of add in a piece where people can carry it. So pretty much like a metal rod. So from here, I'm just gonna add in a mesh. Let's go cylinder, scale it down. And I think that we are gonna to have to bring that circle in a bit more, which is fine. So if I were to put that, let's say about here, G, Z, scale on the Z to about here. We can get rid of these ones. Control L, make sure we've got everything selected and delete. This is where we can kind of go maybe modifier, mirror modifier on the X and the Y. Let's grab everything. And so now we've got that. However, we do have it intersecting over here, which is not what we want. So let's come back to this and I'm just gonna scale on the X and over here, we're having a heart attack. G, Y, there we go. Nice. Where's my pole? There it is. Let's do a mirror modify because we've done everything off the origin point. There we go. So now we've got this piece where you can carry it, which I think is quite nice. Now, obviously we haven't done anything with the top piece yet, but I'm kind of just going through, getting you guys thinking a little bit. Let's go auto smooth on that one there as well. Lovely. So maybe what I might throw in as if a forklift needs to pick this thing up. So let's come to the side. Let's go shift A, we'll add in a cube, scale, G, scale on the X, something like that. Uh, from here, let's scale on the Y axis. So it comes all the way out. And I grab these two, control B to do a bevel. It's gonna be more or less like that, I would say. Let's throw on that mirror modifier as well. Select this one, control numpad minus. Once again, the normals are facing the wrong way, which is fine. We know that's a quick fix, shift N, there we go. All right, that is pretty schmick to me. From here, what can we do? We will go control B to do a bevel, maybe on this side. 
just so we've got that. So that's looking not too shabby. Um, we could even come in here and probably create some sort of key panel maybe. One thing I wouldn't mind creating is just a little cut in here so it actually looks like it's a handle. So what we might do is once again, let's go shift A, let's add in a cube. And I'm just gonna bring that to about here-ish. I think that looks about right, actually, probably about here-ish. It's kind of side on, scale on the Y axis, something like so. Let's select our top piece, control numpad minus. There we go. So that's where our hand goes. Um, another thing we could do is if we want to add in some little bits of pieces of greebles ish kinda, let's kind of go to town on this then. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a cylinder, rotate X. Y, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna bring it up here. Let's scale that all the way down. Something like so. What I'm actually gonna do is delete that face. Um, let's select this face, I to do an inset, just a little bit in, and I'm gonna delete that. From here, I'm gonna select both, E to extrude along the X axis. Uh, from here, I'm gonna do E to extrude a little bit, come in. Let's go E to extrude and scale it, whoops, and scale it out. And then we'll grab both of these E to extrude along the X. So we've got this piece. Let's just go shade smooth, come into auto smooth as well. So we've got this piece now. What are we gonna do with it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go G, I'm gonna put one here, Shift D, Y, there we go, Shift D, Oops, G, I'm gonna put one probably about here. Shift D, let's put one about here. Control L, Shift D, Z. I'm gonna bring it about here. Shift D, Y, one about here-ish. Shift D, Y, probably one about there. From here, what I can do is go into modifiers. Let's go add that mirror modifier, X and Y. So we've got on both sides. Will Z work? Nope. So we're gonna have to rotate this manually, but that's fine. Let's grab everything G to the X. Just gonna bring it back a smidgen. There we go. Let's select that. Mm. Actually, yeah, so these, these ones would be different anyway. Control numpad minus. So now we've got these little indentations all through there. Now this is one thing to remember that if I were to now bring in that Boolean, uh, sorry, the bevel all the way down here, it's gonna affect all these bevels here. So you can see how much smaller they are, where this, they're a lot larger. So with the smaller things, I'm actually gonna add in the bevel manually and then this is kind of what we're gonna be creating, like so. So that's the end of part two, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with this tutorial series. In the next one, we'll do some more greebling, go into a little bit more details, make some of those finer pieces. But yes, I will catch you on the next one.